Hi everyone, welcome back to this series. In this series, we are learning about the design patterns and today we will talk about the facade design pattern. Facade design pattern is one of the simplest design pattern and there is nothing much over here. This is just a kind of a wrapper that we have to write on our built-in or some other methods. Let's see what is the concept of this facade design pattern. So for example, if you are working on some functionality and to implement that functionality, there are several things that you have to create. So basically you have created some different services for all your operations and you have all other methods over there. Now, if you are exposing all those methods to your client or the coding method, then there will be some problem. So let's talk about first what will be the problem with a real world example. So for example, let's talk about a banking application. In bank application, there are so many things in reality that happens. But if we talk about the basic one, then if let's say I want to open an account in a bank, what is the procedure? I will go to the bank. I will say them, hey, I want to open my account over here. Before opening your actual account, the bank will do several operations over there. What is that? First is the bank will check all your KYC documents. If it is fine or not. Second is the bank will check your credit score. Based on that, they may give you some other discounts or some other facilities or the type of the account. Third is if everything is fine, I'm talking about only the basic things. Then let's say everything is fine and some other checks are also there. Then they will open your account. Then they will add the default amount, whatever is there. Then they will add that over there. And then basically they will call the notification service to trigger that, hey, your account has been created successfully. Let's talk about everything in the concept of programming. So for the programming, I have created all these services individually. So what I have done, this is a basic console application. And in this console application, I have created several services. So first is this account service, and it has only very basic methods, create account, close account, and to check if the account is active or not. And basically I have written only some messages over here. In reality, there will be some actual very complex implementations over here. Along with all these services in this application, I have also registered them by using the dependency engine. And for that, I was using this package, which is called as the Microsoft.extensions.dependency injection. And if I open my program.cs class over here, then you will notice by using this service collection, which is coming from this same namespace, I have registered all my services in form of single. And at this place, I'm getting the object of these services, which is fine so far. So let's say now I want to work on the account opening thing. To open the account, here I have written some very basic code and let's see what is there. So first I will check the KYC. It is only returning true as of now. For example, if everything is fine, then we'll proceed to the next one. Otherwise, we will display an error message that there are some problem in your KYC, so we cannot open the account. Next is we will check this credit score service. And then same thing also over there. If everything is fine, then we'll call this account service. We will create the account. And if everything is fine, then here we will just send the notification. Let's say my name to the user. So this is just the basic implementation that I have written. There is nothing much over here. And passing two things, one is the message and the user. Just fine so far, okay? Let's run this application and see how it works. At this place, you can notice that we are getting all the messages. This is the first step where we are verifying the KYC, credit score, account opening, and we are sending the notification. But in reality, there will be more checks over here and more code implementation will be there. But just see that the calling method has to call these four services. So it means there will be a complexity, a problem over here. What is the problem? The problem is that we are giving the permission to the calling method to handle all these things. Basically, it is a complex thing for the calling method. How can you fix this thing? In between this calling method and the actual services, we can create one facade. What is the facade? That facade is something that is visible from outside, but behind the scene, the implementations could be different. So what does it mean? It means we have to create one more class over here. In that class, there will be only single method, which is open account. So this calling method will call only that open account method. And in that open account method, all these details will be written. Let's see how to do that. So here I'm going to create one more class. So right click over here, add new item. Let's say the name is bank facade. The name depends on you. You can give any meaningful name over here. And let's write our first method. So at this place, what I have done, I'm using this bank facade class and I'm using the dependency injection to resolve all my dependencies for the services. I have created one method, which is open account. And I took the same code from this place and this, this entire code, 
let's say this one and i pasted that over here like this now what i can do let's register this bank facade also in our dependency injection setup over here maybe i can use this add singleton one more over here and for this bank facade i'm not using any interface you can use that also not a problem at all now we don't need them so let's remove all these things so here i'm writing the facade and what is the instance that we need we need the bank facade fine now what i can do in this facade i can simply call one method which is called as the open account let's run this application and see how things will work this time you can see that still we are getting everything what we have done we have created just a wrapper over here so this open account is just a wrapper and we are hiding all the implementations in this method that's it now we can write more methods over here so for example here i want to write two more methods maybe one for deposit the amount and another is to withdraw some amount let's do that so these are two methods that i have written over here this is the deposit method so before depositing any amount what i'm checking is the account active or not if it is active then only we will deposit the amount and then we are adding the transaction which is the deposit although there is nothing over here these are just the basic implementations like this and then we are calling this notification service to send an sms that hey we have deposited this much of amount in your account here you can write your name just for the better clarity fine now for the withdraw there could be some more operations involved over here for example the amount that you are going to withdraw must be less than the current amount in your account so those kind of things also you can do over here but the concept is that everything is written in the facade the calling method doesn't know about all these things the calling method has to call only one basic method for example here i'm going to call this facade dot deposit thousand and let's call some more messages also withdraw let's run this application and see how things are working over here you can see we are getting the messages from all these methods so by this place we are getting the message from the first one and then these two messages are coming from the deposit and this these two messages are coming from the third method so i hope the concept of facade is clear to you now just quick recap we are having all the services all the implementations individually we are having one calling method so if you are exposing all those methods to this calling application then it is a complexity for this calling application the best is create a facade in between them that facade will hide the actual implementation from this method and everything will be written in that facade class this calling method has to call only the simple method of the facade and everything will work as it is that is the concept of the facade design pattern and this is one of the simplest design pattern that you can see and i think this is used in most of the applications let me know your thoughts your feedback in the comment section below and if you think the video was helpful please like it subscribe it and share it i will see you in the next one thank you for watching have a great day